It's a weird thing to try and describe, like the need to make art, because some of the stuff I make isn't pretty, and some of it isn't like all happy and shiny. Um, but it's that need to put your hands on something and to create an image of what you've seen or how you feel. The one thing in all the stories is about looking for magic and not forgetting to look for the wonder and the simple things in life. Um, there's a lot of times that we get really busy. You know, when we forget to look at the magic of, you know, a bird and a stick or how a folded airplane could be something you could ride, a stick could be a dragon. And I think in my work I try and bring that out. I, I show you both sides of the coin. In a moment I was watching some film and then it, it was funny, it was something my mom would laugh at. And so I started laughing, but I thought of my mom and she'd passed. And then I started crying. And it was that idea that that line between like intense joy and intense sadness is so thin that, I mean, you know, you could cut yourself on it. I think the reason each of my sculptures has so many layers in it is because we're like that. And at the same moment that you can be happy, you can also be sad. For me, it's about having your hands in the work. It's about being able to touch it and get around a piece. My, my biggest love is to be, you know, wax under your fingernails and clay and a little bit of paint here or there, but to feel the material and feel you, you, you bringing something from nothing. Artists were the storytellers of our time. Artists have told where people fit in. Artists have shown you religion. Artists have shown you wars. Artists have shown you great joy. Artists have shown you great depth and, and terrible deaths. And I think each one is, I think in a way, you're the, you're, you pass on that history for your time. I've met children, you know, that are just in awe of what you do. And not like, oh, you're amazing, but just like, like the message you're putting out into the world is being picked up and it's being received and it's being processed by that next generation who you hope will make a difference. She's been a fan favorite and I think again it's that accessibility. Um, a lot of kids have really loved her work and I've given a number of tours and everyone has been drawn to her pieces. In fact they tell me I understand it, I understand it. Which is an interesting thing because they maybe don't understand everything that I think Holly might be saying, but they understand it for them.